so hello everyone welcome to the video today is may 20th and it is celebrated as international clinical trials day but do you know why exactly may 20th 7074 is a significant date in terms of clinical research history as well as in the world of medicine let's find out Whenever Clinical Trials Day is celebrated, the name of James Lind as well as clinical trials are taken into one context. But do you know what exactly is the connection between it? Because it is very significant to know and understand what are the contributions of James Lind in terms of clinical trial and how it impacted the world of medicine. Let's find out. So who was James Lind? Let's understand this. So James Lind was a Scottish physician who lived between 1716 and 1794. So he was a pioneer of naval hygiene in Royal Navy as well as Lind argued the health benefits of better ventilation in the naval ships, improved cleanliness for the sailor's body, the clothing, the bedding and fumigation with sulfuric acid and arsenic. So he was a naval hygienist who did a significant work, who did a significant study in terms of naval hygiene. But the International Clinical Trials Day is celebrated for its contribution to clinical trials. And today we celebrate International Clinical Trial Day almost 250 years after what he did. Let's find out what exactly James Lynn did. So now let us understand what exactly James Lind is famous for. James Lind is famous for the treatment of scurvy. The experiment, the first experiment in the world that he carried out, which led to the treatment of scurvy. So as you know, scurvy is a disease caused by deficiencies in vitamin C. And back in Lynn's day in the 18th century, vitamins were unknown. The concept of vitamin was not there. And as you know that the symptoms of scurvy are bleeding of gums, okay, lack of connective tissue and vitamin C plays a very critical role in connective tissue. So in the 18th century and exactly in 1740 there was a catastrophic uh, result when it comes to uh, Commodore George Anson's circumnavigation whenever uh, they uh, moved out of the Europe almost they carried out 1900 men and out of 1900 almost 1400 died and most of them died due to scurvy so you can understand the impact of this disease that they had and this is the 18th century world does not know airplanes world does not know railways world is still exploring itself so navy is one of the most important navigation and this particular navigation all the sailors it is very important to maintain their health and according to james lind scurvy caused more death in the british fleet than the french and spanish arms so you can understand the crisis the impact that scurvy had on sailors so it was very important to tackle the scurvy crisis so lind who was a naval physician thought that the scurvy was due to putrefaction of the body or that could be helped with acid okay so he included acidic dietary supplement and performed an experiment and this began a two month experiment at sea to understand how the scurvy is affected and how we can treat it so this was the major grim situation the scurvy crisis that was faced by the navy and james lind was the person who move forward to study this particular disease and to find out what could be the possible treatment let's understand what exactly he did so james lind initiated the first controlled clinical trial of the world okay so what james lind did is he selected 12 patients who were affected by scurvy and had symptoms such as putrid gums spots lassitudes and weakness of the knees so all these symptoms are of scurvy now james lind compared six type of treatment okay so it is very important for you as a pharmaceutical clinical research professional to understand which six treatment were there it was oranges and lemons cider vinegar sulfuric acid salt water and garlic and this treatment or this experiment was started as a first controlled clinical trial and that began in the year 1747 and the date is 20th of May. So that is why 20th of May 1747 is a major significant date. 
so the treatment uh, between oranges and lemons was stopped after six days because they ran out of fruit but after six days the sailor who were given this particular treatment were fit for duty and were almost recovered so through that james lund lind understood that as compared to other treatment the treatment of oranges and lemons had more significant impact okay and shortly after this experiment james lind even retired from uh, the navy and he practiced privately okay and in 1753 he published a treatise of scurvy okay and but this publication was mostly ignored because they did not understand the significant impact and james lind did not push this particular significant finding because he still wanted to be sure that it was the oranges and lemons okay he had the proof but he wanted to replicate that results okay so it is very important for you to understand that one time success does not mean it is sure shot treatment okay and that james lind understood 250 years ago so as researchers we need to be as morally conscious as we can okay so james lind published this particular experiment in 1753 but it was not paid much attention so after lind's death lind's uh, james lind pa uh, passed away in 1794 okay and after his death they read his contributions and the british navy recognized that it is very important for the sailors to have the juice of citrus fruit and it would protect them from deadly diseases such as scurvy next is that for his exemplary investigation for his scientific controlled clinical trial james lind today is considered as father of naval medicine because it was him who carried out the experiment in a scientific and logical manner to provide significant breakthrough for scurvy and the legacy of james lind is that today we celebrate james lind for his famous clinical trial for the treatment of scurvy and the international clinical trials day is celebrated around the world on may 20th each year okay so it is very important for you to understand that why james lind is revered so much and what are his contributions okay so may 20th a uh, date is significant but it is significant through the contributions made by this person through his effortless challenges to tackle such important situation in a scientific manner so this is the legacy of james lind so today on the occasion of international clinical trials day let us pay tribute to james lind for his contribution to the world of medicine and scientific approach to conduct experiment and his guidance to conduct clinical trials even today almost two and a half centuries after his contribution and this has significantly helped humanity to discover various cure that has scientifically proven through clinical trials so the concept of clinical trial to prove that a particular treatment is effective against a disease that particular methodology was given to us by james lind and that is why james lind today and in the future would be one of the most significant contributor to the scientific and medical history so thank you for watching this video till the end uh, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that it gives us motivation to bring you such amazing videos and please celebrate clinical trials day and share this video to a lot of people so that they can understand why this particular contribution of james lind is important in the world of medicine and clinical research